Benvenuti, Ludovico, and welcome to the podcast. It's a pleasure having you here. Yeah, thank you so much. Benvenuti a tutti. <laughs> I mean, like, I think your Italian is much better than me, but at least I tried, you know. <laughs> so for those of you that are tuning in here, I'm sitting here with, you know, professional climber, you know, Ludovico. And, and if you want to hear, you know, more insights from people like Ludovico, make sure to like this video, you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel and, and see whatever, what other people were talking to. But Ludovico, I'm, I'm really curious to like, you know, just tell me a little bit about yourself and, and sort of like your journey into climbing, you know, because I think I think I want to hear where this passion comes from. Yeah, so I'm I'm 23 years old and I live here in Trento, where I try to to build a little home gym, so I can train train easier. Right. And uh, I I entered in my first climbing gym at five because I usually climbing in the furniture at home. Yeah. <laughs> so my parents uh, my great. parents uh, say that it was uh, it could be a little dangerous. Uh, and take me to the first gym they they they, they find, yeah. and, then, and then I start my my journey into climbing, and uh, a little thing that uh, a little story that they always okay. uh, told me that is that they install a little gate before the stairs, because yeah. I was able to to run run away from uh, from home, so <laughs> it was to protect myself. You you you're, you're too good of a climber. That's essentially. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's yeah. a fun story. Then I mean, like at least your parents were like, okay, this guy climbs a lot. Let's <laughs> let's just get him right into the climbing wall so he can actually, you know, perhaps become really good at it. And and that's what happens. That that's awesome. So, like, you, you said, like you started like going into the sort of like the climbing gym, like from like you were five. Is like, have you just like kept climbing like since then, or like? How did you sort of like build up your way in, in climbing, I guess? Yeah, I, I always climb, but uh, I also try, uh, try other, other sports like yeah. uh, skiing or snowboarding or basketball. Nice. And uh, I love it all, but climbing won't win, win to, to all. And uh, it was like uh, pretty fun until uh, 2017. Uh, 16, pardon, uh, where I can, uh, I finish my youth, uh, youth category yeah. and then I try to, to make a serious thing in the, in the senior. Uh, so I choose a professional uh, coach and a physiotherapist and all the team that are following, uh, following me uh, into the Olympics. So that's, that's yeah. awesome. I mean, like, and, and for those, because there might be like some people here that, you know, maybe don't know as much about sport climbing in general. Like, can, can you, can you tell a little bit about like, what is sport climbing? Like, how does it work? And, and, and yeah, just like, you know, the essence of sport climbing, I guess. Okay. Uh, basically there is uh, there are three disciplines, uh, speed, right. bouldering and lead. Yep. Uh, uh, in fast uh, speed uh, is uh, the discipline that we run into parallel um route that is the same in all over the world right and the 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 point is the, to touch the final button uh, before the other mm. uh, the boulder is the only discipline uh, without a rope because it's uh, it's not tall right. it's only four meter and you fall uh, on a mattress and um and there is a um more route like four in the qualification uh four in semi-final and four in the final yeah. and the, the the point is the to to find the best beta and uh, close uh, in the in less than in less attempts mm. possible yeah. and the lead is um is the i don't know it's the easy thing when uh, when you think about climbing because yeah. uh, uh, you climb, and uh, uh, the, the point is to reach the high, highest point, point uh, possible. Yeah. So the the last hold that you touch uh, is uh, your score. Nice and easy. And you, the, and the you, funny, yeah, keep going. Yeah, the best thing of climbing, I think, is that you can do it uh, indoor and outdoor. Yeah, and you can find uh, some very beautiful place.
That, that's very true. And I mean, like you, you already start when you were like a kid, so you can do it in, <laughs> indoors in the house too. Maybe not the smartest, smartest move, you know, but, yeah. but it's definitely doable. But, but you're into like the, like your specialization, I would say is like speed climbing, right? But as far as I understand, like you have to do a little bit of all three in competitions or how, how does that kind of work? Like for you, do you, mainly focus on speed climbing like you do more competitions of that or or how does it work uh before before the olympics i usually do speed climbing yep. and just bouldering and lead for fun sure but now with the combine uh, in the olympics because uh, they they give us only one medal so yep. the efsh efsg uh, found this uh, combined formula uh, where you have to do all three disciplines yeah. and now the the difficulties uh, for me is doing a lead and bouldering and like for others is doing the speed and bouldering uh, just because uh, until uh, until the, the Olympics uh, we only focus on one discipline right so yeah now I do it uh, professionally but uh, just uh, I say you can say from two years no more all right. Or yeah, makes sense. So, so why did you why did you decide uh, to focus on speed climbing though? Where where did that come from? <laughs> uh, because I always like the feeling of speed in yeah. um, in everything, like uh, cars, moto, running. Yeah. And um, and uh, I, I really like uh, to work on something and uh, make it perfect perfect uh, on your on your best speed okay right so it's speed climbing is the perfect match between the perfection and speed and I, I guess it's kind of fun more fun watching too though you know for a spectator i guess like you know you guys you know trying to just run up the wall essentially or <laughs> or the mountainside it's, it's easier to understand so yeah no yeah. and i mean like everyone loves the like you know the, the competitional element of like just trying to reach like a point the fastest you know like it's always it's, it's always fun so again i can totally under understand that but, but you talk a little bit about re regarding the um, you know the the olympics right and, and first of all congratulations for qualifying i'm you. sure you're you know super thrilled and happy about that and i know i guess it's pretty amazing though like you're, you're still pretty young and having that opportunity like how, how does it feel thank you uh if you pretty great like uh, uh having the pass for the first olympic ever of sport climbing is uh, i don't know surreal <laughs> and uh i really like i really enjoyed this moment no i i, I can't imagine but re regarding the um, regarding sort of like you know the build up to the olympics like what was what was sort of like the journey in terms of reaching that qualification and being qualified like what was the you know competitions you had to do and and again from that point like what is how is things going to be decided in the olympics because you were saying like it's only one medal uh just take us a little bit like how this works yeah uh the the journey into the past for the olympic was uh was uh, incredible uh two days before i i made the, the gold i i win the gold medal in the world championship uh, for for speed climbing nice and uh and uh okay you can imagine with me uh i'm here i have to do another comp another important comp uh, where i can uh i uh the the, the the um, I'm sorry. Uh, no <laughs> the worries. point is uh, to 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 win the Olympic pass. So yeah, uh, you have to to reset everything and uh, start again. Uh, the the competition was a bit uh, strange. I didn't go did uh, good in speed and Bulgarian was uh, was even worse. But uh, at last the result uh, said that uh, I'm one of the eight uh, people that will go to the Olympics and. Uh, uh, in, in incredible in two days i won the the gold medal and the pass for the tokyo so it was <laughs> surreal was, for you yeah, crazy crazy experience and how, like how many like how many like do they send from italy like are you is it only you from italy that are going no no i was the first uh, in tokyo in the world championship but in toulouse uh, also laura rogra joins mm. uh, with the pass 
and also Misha Picorruat uh, uh, at the end of 2020 uh, Eva Pastu. So oh. we are in Crete. That, that's yeah, awesome be, though. You're, nice. you're not alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which is always yeah. good, you know, when you're going to like a major events like such as the Olympics, like, you know, having people around you, you know, obviously, you know, you will have your your team and and your, uh, you know, the, the key players, but it's always good to have like some extra athletes around you to like, you know, help motivate each other. And, and I, I guess like your goal, your goal for the Olympics is to, is to get the gold, right? Ah, yeah, get the podium. Uh, as I say, the, it's uh, strange because I have to do all the three disciplines that yeah. I never do. Right. Uh, but uh, yeah, the point and the, the is, is to have the gold. That's awesome. I know I we're, we're gonna share from you from here, you know, from Sporting Global, and and wish you wish you all the best with that. So uh, you. you were talking like a little bit in in the Olympics, right? That you have to do all three disciplines. So how do you sort of like train yourself up to to doing all these three? Because obviously your expertise is the you know speed climbing, but like how do you sort of like balance to to train enough of all three? Uh, yeah, this one is pretty difficult too, and um, I I try to have the best level in speed climbing uh, yeah. because it's important not to lose this one. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to reach the high, I guess, um, level for bouldering and lead. I I really like bouldering and not as a, as a lead climbing, mm. uh, and because it's more more powerful, more more sophisticated, I think. Right. And uh, so I try to climb a lot. Uh, indoor and outdoor and I think outdoor is the uh, best way the best way to to learn the uh, foot technique or body tension and things like that right. um, yeah and I work also in the gym and uh, um, for, for with uh, with instruments uh, that's uh, perfect for for bouldering a lead so essentially will there be like sort of like a total score out of the the three different disciplines that you have to sort of like the ones that get like then the, the max score is sort of like the ones that get the gold or like how do they range in- yeah. it's the opposite oh, okay. uh, the less <laughs> yeah the like you have to multiplicate the, all the the result so mm-hmm. if uh, in speed i win is uh, one Per uh, leader Mulder, mm. so here is why I try to is why I try to to win the the, the speed in the in right. Tokyo, and uh, yeah, it's the point uh, is to to reach the less uh, point ever. So all right, got it. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. I mean, like it's good to sort of like map that out so it's essentially just about having the the least amount of point i guess like in order yeah order to win. thank you <laughs> um so how do you um obviously you know you know we're in a pandemic you know 2020 was a strange year you know it seems like 2021 is going to be you know low-key a little bit around the same you know who knows hopefully a little bit better but how do you sort of like picture you know, Tokyo to be with the coronavirus or like with the pandemic and how, how are sort of like you having that in back of your mind in terms of preparations? I, I don't really know. Uh, there is some voice uh, to Tokyo and there is some voice that athletes uh, will make the, the vaccine or mm. that Tokyo will become a bubble like, uh, like the NBA. Yep. I don't really know. It's nothing. Is uh, is um, is true. Not no no voice is true for now. Mm. Uh, the only thing is no. I know that uh, it, I'm sure that Tokyo will make it happen. Yeah. And there is no cancellation. Uh, but I I don't know the how. I don't know how. Right. So, so you don't have like you know the the declared guidelines yet, but. But I mean, like, I guess, like, you know, now it's just like for you to, you know, stay, stay safe, stay healthy and just train, yep. focus on your training. Right. And just make sure you're prepared for building, building yourself up to that, you know, the time of the Olympics, I guess. Yep. And, uh, yeah, and that's the point. 
going a little bit into like sort of like you know the, the climbing industry in general and and sort of like the potential obviously now you know being in the olympics and everything like from your point of view like how do you see sort of like you know the climbing industry moving forward and 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 sort of like the potential that that lies there mm, we see we see the climbing uh, is uh, growing up uh it's really growing up uh, something from the number of kids uh, and the people Wait. come to trying yeah and uh, all the company companies is trying to do everything uh, uh do more in, in um invention is right right yeah, yeah. and and uh, something new and the show is like the climbing show is really new and uh, someone is really perfect so everything is growing up and the olympic uh, make it happen so, but uh, we we have to to continue uh, this grow because it's a sport that uh, can uh, i don't know it's not only a sport it's just uh, it's on, um, a point of view uh, right. like uh, you have to to share the nature the people to stay good uh, and uh, it's not only a sport for me so yeah oh, but that's that, that's great and i mean like i even thought about like here like in norway you know there's there's so many mountains like i know like we have like some great you know former professional climbers and and I, but i still like i don't see it you know it's it's not as big any like still in, in norway so there's definitely a lot of potential for you know countries like norway and others to like you know that has the facilities i guess and the nature to like do a lot of climbing you know i think it's it's a, it's a fascinating sport and and the fact that you know you have like these different disciplines as well as you said like with the speed climbing like with the bouldering and and the and the lead you know it just showcases like okay you can find sort of like what what interests you the most and i guess like if there's anyone out there that are like you know watching this and listening to this you know make sure to check out you know Ludovico and his videos on speed climbing because I mean like that's that's pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and every every people from every age can can come to try because uh, there is a lot of level and uh, so is the the easy from the easiest uh, to the hardest. So yeah, I think everything can uh, everyone sorry can can try. And it's a great way to to uh, increase your finger strength. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like I tried it in school because I did like sports education, and it was like I was like, "What am I holding on to?" You know, like I'm 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 used to like throwing a football, you know. <laughs> so that was like super hard, but it's good practice. And I always say like this too because um, I mean I'm gonna try to find him like for you, but I don't know. There's there's a really good like Norwegian former climber, and like one of the coolest things to see with him is like he do like this one one finger pull pull-ups you know and i'm like yeah, yeah. even with the with the small one i know so so i, I can't i can't i can't so. <laughs> i mean like i was always like okay you maybe have to send us that video <laughs> uh, all right but but to, to sort of like do like a final question here you know because we're starting to wrap up to the end here and and, and for those that you know you know, maybe want to try climbing and like maybe want to be part of the business side, I guess, as well of climbing. Like, like what kind of what kind of like tips do you have for like someone who's just interested in climbing and and just maybe want to explore? Like, how do they how do they sort of like begin? You know, the the first the first thing I, I can say is uh, come to try because as uh, as I said before, uh, everyone can can come to try. Yeah. And the uh, other thing is like uh, it's a strange and beautiful world where where you have to to love the nature and people around you. Yeah. Uh, so it's not as I said, it's not just a sport. It's a it's a lifestyle. Right. <laughs> and uh, and another thing that I like is uh, is that a sport uh, that uh, makes you fall a lot. So you have to be, you have to be able to to stand up again and again. Right. So that's it's a good learning main... lesson, though. You know, to just like yeah. you know, that's getting sure. used to falling down and standing back up. You know, it's uh, <laughs> you will you will you will come across a lot of ups and downs in the world, and uh, and it's a great way to sort of like deal with that in a in a physical aspect, I guess. <laughs> 
Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah. like um, the, the only thing I was wondering too, though, because I was thinking, because you were saying like, okay, I have my coach, I have like you know my people, like what kind of staff, I guess, or like people do you have around you to help you now for for the Olympics as well? You know, sort of like the people that work the closest with you. What kind of roles is it? Like, I guess it's a coach. It's like maybe like uh, you know physical therapist or like what are kind of like the people you have yeah. you, around you that are going to help you? I hope uh, I, I do. I'll say it in English uh, for for right. Uh, yeah, the coach uh, is two. One for speed climbing. Uh, that uh, is the is the boss of the team because uh, is the nearest person for, sure. for me. Yeah. And uh, the other one is for lead and bullery climbing. So two coaches. Yeah. Uh, one uh, f- physiotherapist yep. and uh, one mentalist and nice. uh, the um, uh, how to say the. The, the one that uh, cures the, the diet and the eating oh, yeah, yeah. nutritionist, nutritionist. yeah it's right yeah yeah okay nice uh yeah that's that's all yeah it's a, it's a small team so we have five people that uh, is trying to yeah yeah it's no. trying to to make me reach the highest point exactly and and this is sort of like the reason why i asked because i think it's important for people that you know maybe want to work with climbing it's like okay what kind of role can i pursue you know so obviously you know you got the coaches you got like you know the physical therapist you got the mentalist i mean like and this is a very important part you know i, I would think as well and then of course the the nutritionist you know health health expert there and then you have a nice you don't need more people anyways you know <laughs> you don't want it to be too crowded and I think that's that's a great great a lot of opportunities. Actually, no. <laughs> All right. So so with that, yep. Ludovico, I, I think you know I just, I just I would just like to thank you so much, you know, for for taking the time to be part of the podcast, for sharing your story, your insights with us, and 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 we wish you all the best, you know, with the Olympics. I guess well, when is your next upcoming you. competition? Uh, we start with the Italian comp, and uh, I I will not do the all the World Cup, only the the one year uh, yep. from Italy, yep. and uh, I think the first one is in April. So uh, we will see how we're going. Cool. Well, best of luck, Ludovico, and and for all of you that are you know home Thank listening, you. you know make sure to you know like the video, subscribe if you want to learn more. And, and learn from people in the industry. And with that, you know, with every video we do, we always finish with Vistokis, which means see you later in Norwegian. So now, Ludovico, you know some Norwegian too. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, Ludovico. Thank you, and uh, arrivederci. Arrivederci. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs>